Realtree presents the Corn Thicket Podcast with Kyle and Howie. So let's just go to it. How's everything in your end of the world, man? Dude, it's going good other than my 2,000 fucking kids I had. <laughs> the cow dependence. We got to get into that. That's funny. Yeah, let's just start right there. Let's Speaking start which, right there. Which where, you know, I told you that, you know, my wife's doing bedtime right now. She's got to put 2,000 damn kids to bed. So, yeah. So to catch more. everybody up, <laughs> Kyle did his taxes this week. And found out that his organization had 2000 as the value in his dependence box on the software for his tax withholdings, which is a lot yeah. of kids, man. It was supposed to be the depend or the that's supposed to be the dollar amount, but they had it on tax de- or dependence, they had it on that little yeah. line. So it's supposed to be yeah. in deductions. So I had a whole Thirteen dollars taken out in federal taxes this year, so we are going to be paying a hefty. I'm going to call it a fine because taxes are fucking fines. Yeah, for being alive. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that sucks. So we have to. And I, I granted, yes, I should have caught it. I should have been looking at my checks every month or two weeks, but I wasn't. I just saw the direct deposit, you know, every two weeks, and cool. Right, my money. I didn't go to look yeah. and see. Oh, there, I didn't get any federal. And that was another thing. If you go look at my pay stubs, there's no line for federal. There's yeah. nothing. So it's like, even if I would have looked, I would have missed it anyway. And there's then, no line for federal, deduction, federal deductions on your pay stub? Everybody else does, but I didn't because it was like 50 cents. And I'm assuming they don't <laughs> show it. If it was, a doll, you know, it wasn't a doll. taking anything. Well, you so, have 2,000 kids. And then there, everybody else's um, paycheck at my work has like a little line where they have dependents and all that stuff. Mine just says nothing. 2XX because it can't even handle that big of a number. Cause... Yeah, they're like, this kid, all he does is bang his wife all the time. So they're just popping out kids. So we're not even. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah, you seriously. I mean, how's Emily feeling after all that? I mean, that's that's a lot of kids. <laughs> She's pretty exhausted. Now everything makes sense, though. Yeah, that's a hallway <laughs> at this point. I mean, I'm just going to say it. That's just terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, so here we are, and it's tax time, and I owe a huge fine now. And I tried to argue with my work, and they're like, I was like, well, now whatever mistake this was cost me you know, $4,000 or whatever it is. And they're like, well, no, it didn't actually cost you because you got your money. And I'm like, well, yeah, you're right. But then again, you're yeah. wrong because I didn't freaking budget for this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's highly, highly, that's budget. highly unfortunate. So if anybody listens, is listening, my Venmo's at Kyle dash Campbell three, <laughs> drop a dollar, all five people that listen to this podcast. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Man, 2,000 so kids. So I can pay the government for being alive and I think working. the baseball team you can put together, though. I can put together a bunch of baseball teams. You could put together a football team. You could a cricket team. You could learn rugby. <laughs> you could dominate. Uh, it's ridiculous. And as long as they, all, they can all identify in a way that benefits them as well. We won't get into all that. But How yeah, the, man, the, that's the crazy. How crooked are taxes? I don't know if you're one of those taxations that is theft, but I definitely... Oh, yeah, it's 1,000% theft, yeah. Because 100, I, I, 100%. I didn't, when I was born, I didn't... And started my workforce, I didn't sign... I guess you do sign on a dotted line that says, I grant the federal government to take this much out of every single working hour that I have... Well, see, the thing the thing that gets me is I think now we work until like the middle of April. You basically work for free. You work for the government until I think the date. They, there's a date that moves every year based on how much you're taxed that says how much of your year you work that they take it all and then you keep everything after that. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it's like now it's like it's either late April or early May that you're working that far so we'd still we're still at this point in this year we're working 100 percent 
and you especially working a hundred percent for the government until that date. But yeah. And that's one of the things that that friggin' jackass sitting in the white house right now. Well, no, he's in bed. It's after seven o'clock Eastern, but um, I'm ice cream right now. Yes. No, he's, he's sleeping. Well, whoever it is in there sleeping, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, there's been a proposal on the table to get rid of income tax and say that, and, but yeah, there'd be like a 30%, I think it's like, I think 25% sales tax, which, yeah, it sounds like, it sounds terrible to have a sales tax and that would be outside of food. It wouldn't count things like that, but it sounds terrible to buy a car and you got to pay an extra quarter to buy it. But when you look at how much money you bring home on income tax, like if you didn't have that taken out, that goes away very quickly, right? And then what happens is what everybody says they want to have happen is the people that have a ton of money that are spending it on a ton of very expensive things can't avoid that that tax of 25% on everything they buy. So they buy a house, 25%. They buy a Lamborghini, 25%, right? And the people with all that money who are spending all that money end up paying a pile of taxes in it. But it's, uh, oh, what happened? Did I lose you? Looked like you went away. But um, so my dogs are here now after our little break. I don't even know what I was talking about. All that prick in the White House. Yeah, That's and what I was taxes and uh, this, my... this podcast tonight has been a disaster. So we spent oh, yeah, now my dogs. And now my dogs are starting to bark after an hour of messing around with technology that we clearly don't understand. <laughs> my son needs to come out here and wrangle these dogs. Misha, shut up. Shut up. Sorry, that's my dog, not like a family member. But yeah, anyway. But yeah, I'm all for the national sales tax. Like bump that thing through the roof, you know? Like, and when you buy something expensive, you're going to get hit another 25%, but you get to keep all your income. Like that's, I'm all for that. Cause right now we get taxed everywhere, right? You get a tax on it coming in, you get a tax on it going out, you get taxed on everything in between. It's just, uh, oh, there's no, no such thing as double taxation. I'm pretty sure if you follow a dollar that comes to you and then you spend it, it gets taxed more than once. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. It's a shit show, man. Yeah. My sister, and, the other, yesterday, my sister, and before you make it a smart ass comment on <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I can see it in your face right now when I said my sister. How's she, do, how's she doing? <laughs> She's doing good. <laughs> but anyway, she so she paid her personal, which you guys don't have personal property tax on vehicles there in PA. But uh, right. she paid her personal property tax the other day. And then, well, not the other day, but like at the beginning of the month. And then yeah. yesterday they get, they send out assessments for like you write down what you own and then you got to send that back to the assessor and then that's right. how they know what it how much to tax you on personal property taxes well she got her assessment list and she's like i just paid this and i'm like yeah you gotta pay it every year she's like i gotta yeah. pay taxes on my car every year it's like 300 dollars. i'm like yeah they tax you after you already own it they tax you just to own something. you don't you, you don't own anything yeah. I don't own I don't own this house. I, even after it's paid off, I don't own it. If I if I don't pay taxes on it on the land that I own, they're taking it. So how do I I don't own it, right? I'm still renting no matter what. I'm yep. renting forever. You just gotta but, pay for um, it. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I figured oh, this man, I figured this podcast is just gonna be a uh pretty much a what grinds my gears because today <sighs> Today, before we even start, decided to get on today, I was I, I went to the snack machine at work, and it's like, so obviously I'm not like watching my figure or anything, but I just wanted I wanted something to snack on, like a Kit Kat or some M and M's or something, you know? Right, right. It's like three o'clock in the day, my I work twelve hour days. I was like, I need a little pick me up, so I went up there. Every single candy bar, every single package of M and M Skittles, everything. It's like the extra large, the they don't make anything normal sized anymore, and I was just getting really mad about that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it sounds it's like so you're PMSing a little bit or something now, right be. over there. I could be. Well, yeah. you know, it's been a rough week, but yeah, Dude, seriously, I, do they not make any 
like candy bars like the regular size anymore? Can you even get a normal size like <laughs> that's not eight thousand calories? Well, and then I found out I was listening to Rogan the other day, and he's talking about they're talking about cobalt mining, and you know basically how all the devices we're using to make this podcast like we're absolutely enabling like the horrible, horrible abuse. I don't know if you ever looked into it. You probably don't want to because then you'll be like, I got to throw my cell phone out because it's. <laughs> absolutely terrible what is happening to these kids you know and when you're little dude they're like five and six years old and they're getting beat every day like their whole existence is getting beat and crawling in muck to to get the stuff that gets these phones and computers oh, I think I hear it's about terrible that. But what podcast was that was that the one with uh every one of them like every <laughs> one of them he talks about it all the time like it's 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 insane. And so I'm sitting there listening to that and then I found out that chocolate is the same way. Like chocolate is yeah. one of the most Yeah. Yeah, they so were talking like about Kit that. Kat. You, you said you said a Kit Kat and I, that threw me back to Rogan talking about the Kit Kat. Like, yeah, so you're that was the one you with wanted Duncan. to go find was, some child abuse food and that was the one with it. Duncan Trestle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I listened it's to a that. Great one. episode. And then they great episode. <laughs> I don't want to talk about what <laughs> We probably Which one? Save, probably should save that part. Uh, to the part, how much semen would fill the Grand Canyon? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. They figured it out. Yeah, that's they were what, talking to the AI. AI is good for. Yeah, they were talking to the AI yeah. and asking how much. Well, they they quote unquote mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. How much blood? How much mayonnaise? Yeah. But dude, uh, you talk about what's grinding gears at this point. This administration has me so absolutely. Yesterday, when they put out like, oh, you know, the right wants to defund the police. Oh, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, it, I literally just sat here looking at my phone like, in what world is anyone going to believe that that has been a rallying cry of the yeah. right? Like, yeah. Are, yeah, they've they've been complaining about the weaponization of the CIA and the FBI, but like, there's hours and hours of video. They had entire demonstrations the left did about defunding the police and all. Oh, there's a domestic dispute. All oh, send in a social worker that makes eighteen thousand dollars a year, and they'll be fine. I'm just like, I, I can't take it. And then and then I and then then these bank executives. You know, when a Silicon Valley bank went down you find out that these bank executives sold off like a week and a half earlier they knew it was coming and they sold all their stuff they pulled the nancy pelosi right they're just like oh this is happening so i'm gonna get out and then that fucking letter that biden <laughs> okay number one oh, yeah, number one let me that. make it clear let me make it clear biden isn't doing anything he's not doing anything which should be illegal right if I impersonate a police officer, I go to jail. There are 20 something year old women in the marketing team who are using word like folks and like, <laughs> just stop it. Like that should 1000% be illegal. Like, and the number of people who refer to the tweets as though they're talking to Joe Biden, as though he actually wrote that piece of trash is astounding. Like, I can't get over how many people want it to be him so bad. I'm like, you want him and his old Crip Keeper hands and his marshmallow brain to be in there tweeting things out. Then they have this letter. I literally thought it was a meme. I thought someone made a, made a joke because it's written by eight-year-old Charlotte, right? Did you, Clearly, did you find out her name? Was that, was that actually or her age? It Is said, it, I'm eight years old and I know, yeah, it was, it was on there. I think it was like, I'm just a kid or whatever it was. I yeah. think somebody, I think it might've even been in a letter saying, I'm only eight years old and I know that women should be paid the same as men. And there's all these like calculated misspellings, spelled president wrong, but exactly the same way twice in a row, which yeah. kids don't do. Like yeah. there's all this, dude, the fact that people look at that and think that it's real Oh my God. I know. Just blows my mind. And the fact that the quote unquote most powerful person in the world, again, we know he has nothing to do with that account. Nothing. Even though his name's on it and it's going into the historical archives as though he did it. 
thousand years from now, they'll be like, oh, look at these things, Joe Biden's. No, we'll be dead. No one's going to be around a thousand years. But you know what I'm saying. Right before the world just collapses into itself for the fifth time over, which, by the way, I've been watching on all that stuff after listening to Rogan as well. <laughs> Amazing stuff. But um, you got to send me some of that yeah. stuff. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But it just absolutely infuriates me. And then I got to say, I got a bit of a, I'm not that guy. You know, I know Twitter. I know social media isn't an airport. You don't need to announce your departure. And I'm not leaving, leaving. But some things have happened as of late that I'm I'm not going to, describe it in too much detail. People can find it if they want to find it. But yesterday in our chat with Elijah and Eric and, and Souter, um, someone shared that video of the dude with the ax. Do you remember that? See, it's sad that you don't even remember this, right? No, I, I know, know you if, saw it. I don't know if Maybe I did. Maybe you missed that one. I might have missed it. There's one. someone sitting on a couch, someone sitting on a couch, like at the oh. store. I saw you guys yeah. say something about it, but I never, I didn't watch yeah. the video. Some of you saw, I saw you guys are like, yeah, this is very disturbing. I never did watch it. Yeah. So, so there's a video of this guy standing there. I guess he wanted to buy this ax or something. And there's someone sitting on the couch and all the, he just swings it and he buries it in this person's head. And the person's just sitting there not paying attention and they get an ax to the head and, the, and, they start like wobbling. I mean, you can see they're like out of it. They're still alive, but they're like, they could just got an ax like buried in their skull. Right. And I, it sounds, it sounded exactly like what you would expect an ax hitting a skull to sound like, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it was very clear. You could hear it in the audio. And then the other person that was in the room starts screaming and this dude just like strolls out and I'm sitting there. I haven't that like, Everybody has their point, right? Everybody has their tipping point. And I've always said, you know, I used to ride motorcycles. I'm going to jump su subjects here a little bit. You know, I used to ride. I, I had them forever. I had cruisers all the time. When we had kids. I, Lee asked me, that's one thing she asked me to give up. She's like, please just don't ride anymore. It's too dangerous, et cetera, et cetera. Especially when we moved back from Colorado. It was safer out there. Lots of people on bicycles. It works, right? We moved back here. She asked me not to ride it anymore. We were in Detroit at the time, so it made sense. And I look at that and I'm like, okay, the main reason I don't have one right now, which may change in the future, but is as much as I want to ride one, like, I don't want Brock on one all the time. Like, just, I just don't. People are too distracted. They're on their cell phones. And there's yeah. always that thing of like, oh, I can do it. Like, I'll be fine. But I just wouldn't want my son to do it because I want him to come home every day for sure. Like, I want to increase his odds of coming home every day as much as possible. And I think we talked before about like, you know, at night, I don't sit there and think, like, did I have a good day today? Have we talked about this? Like, I think I I know I've talked to you about at least off air. So what, what I like to do is uh, several years ago, instead of looking back and saying, did I have a good day? Did I do the things right? Was I productive? I look back and say, like, if today was the day that Brock had when he was my age, would I be proud of him? Like, if I'm watching him, like, because... I can make excuses for myself, but you know, I don't make excuses for my kids, right? I, I, I push them. I have high expectations for them. So if I lay around all day, I'd like, if Brock did today, what I did today, when he's my age, I'd be like, dude, what are you doing? Like you only get one time. Like well, oh, why yeah. do you waste your time? Right. So, so I look through it through that little bit of a different lens, right? Let's go back to the ax. I'd rather my son be on a motorcycle than see that kind of shit and not be bothered by it. Like, we went about our day. We were talking about baseball two minutes later. That's messed up, dude. Like, it's <laughs> messed up. It is super messed up. Like, and, and it's not that that's a one thing. I mean, there's Fight Haven on there. There's lots of good sites, right? Depending on what you call good. There's lots of, you know, I watched it the same day. I watched an autistic, this, this young black autistic guy, kid. He's like 13, 14 years old, being literally hunted in the New York subways by a bunch of other teens and they drag him off of this subway train and just maul him like five of them do. And no one stops. And I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, me watching it. It's number one. It's not going to make any better. 
Like I, I can't do anything to intervene. There's nothing I can do to affect change in the New York City subways. And the fact that they know people watch it on Fight Haven is they're twisted people out there, dude, who see that and they're yeah. like, oh, I want to do that because look, that video got two million views yeah. or whatever it is, right? And I'm one of those views. But the axe thing is really bothering me, dude. Like, how did I get so desensitized to watching a human being minding their own business take an axe to the head that I'm talking about the World Baseball co- Games? literally within a minute and a half you know what i'm saying that's why i asked you guys today when you're getting on when you're getting on that other chat Uh, platform because i'm like i want to keep the conversation going but i have to i have to extract myself from that when i'm looking at like my kids right now i am more convinced than ever and we've had this conversation before social media is the worst thing that's ever happened on this planet like it's absolutely the worst it is the worst. And you got that young girl sitting over there, that baby girl of yours. Dude, imagine what it's going to be like by the time she's 25, 30 oh, years old. I, you know? I, I mean, mean, I'm just... hard to even imagine that. So my plan is in the next couple of days, I'm just not on there very much anyway now other than chatting with yeah. you guys. But I'm going to shut my thing down, I think. And I'm going to... I'm going to end up with a, like, I'll do like a corn thicket one, like a, a Howie one that's just for that, like, just so I can get on and, and talk hunting. And that's it. Yeah. First thing I'm doing, blocking the Biden POTUS account. So that first <laughs> thing, because I can't take that much bullshit in my life, but I'm going to be very specific about things I look for to make sure that my algorithm is stuff that like, I can watch in front of my kids and not worry about them being friggin' scarred, like a yeah. dude taking an ax to a head. Like, cause dude, that's stuck. With, obviously it's stuck with me now. Right. I've been talking about it for five minutes, but dude, it, I don't know when I start looking at things through the lens of my kids and what I want them to experience. And is it what I'm experiencing and putting in front of myself and putting through my eyes and putting it into my head? Mm-mm. Well, that's not a one bit. bit. I don't want them seeing that. That's another thing that Rogan talks about too. He's been talking about it a lot lately. He said, I'd watch someone die on Instagram every day. He said, the, the videos that you can yeah. see on Instagram and Twitter, and I'm a firm believer in that too. It's just social media has just ruined everything. And, you know, there's yeah. that one guy that's like, I want to do that. Look how many views I got. Yeah. Yeah. Just a mess. An absolute mess. And then, I don't know. Let's talk about more shit that makes us mad. I can't stand Disney. Disney's a pile of shit. Disney? Um, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows Disney's, like, garbage. Oh, yeah. But, dude, I ever tell you about... Have you ever seen Brother Bear? Brother Bear? I don't think so. Has your girl seen Brother Bear yet? Mm-hmm. Brother Bear's a trash movie. Absolute oh, trash movie. talked about this before on the podcast, though. Yeah. But but I think it was Rogan that was talking about that this week too. He was talking about like yeah, how bears right. will eat another eat another bear's cubs just to bring it back into heat so it can bang it. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's real life there. Yeah. But yeah, um, some of these people would see what know. goes on in the real world like animal kingdom world. Mm-hmm. All these Yeah. <laughs> and then the AI dolls. Let's talk about AI for a minute. I haven't messed with AI yet. Where do you go to? I want to do it like right now. <laughs> what do you do? Such a bad idea. <laughs> Where are these guys? Such a I, bad idea. They talk about it on the Rogan podcast all the time and they like ask it questions like we were just talking about how much mayonnaise yeah. would fill the Grand Canyon. And <laughs> yeah, how much not like, to fill the Grand Canyon. <laughs> they're like reading the answers. And the, have you heard the one, the Biden one, the where he's like, uh, where they ask ask him to read it in Biden's voice or something like that, and um, he actually like says some weird stuff. Oh no! I, the only one I'd heard was it was actually like wasn't stuttering and wasn't tripping over words and was forming coherent sentences. So that by default failed to be Joe Biden, but um, just like Trump, you know, hey, you gotta you gotta be self filating the whole time if you're gonna be Trump. You gotta be an idiot on the other side for that but uh yeah i don't know man i'm looking at like they were talking about ai dolls and it's like these things like they they're making these dolls now 
that will interact with you. And like, if you have a meeting, they will call, they will like text you to ask you how it went after the meeting should be over. Like, like a person, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like they're being predictive and what they're doing. They're actually engaging with you based on your schedule and things they know is happening in your life. Things they know are happening in your life. Like, like a human would, but at the same time, they're ultimately subservient to you. And dude, that is terrifyingly dangerous. Oh yeah. Like I want nothing to do with that. Like the human race should want nothing to do with that. There is no happiness lying there. There is no happiness waiting in that, in that world where you have some, I mean, a relationship is no good if you agree on everything. Like it's just what that's not a relationship. That's that's just it's not utopia. You know what I mean? Like there's no I don't know, you're looking up chat GPT right now, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can see you over there. You're like, hmm, let's go to chat GPT and see what happens. But one thing you can yeah. But, can you hear that? Yeah, I could for a second I could. What is that? I was watching a video on chat of chat G G. No, I can't hear it. You'd have to put that through the through the system somehow. What's it saying though? What's it doing? What's it about? Uh, I, thought, I thought you could hear that. I was gonna be. <laughs> it's like they're these guys are just like arguing with Biden AI, and it's like actually, it's just saying some like I want ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So on the lighter side of things, sorry, I got distracted. No, 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 no. You're fine. On the lighter side of things, somebody said the other day that the alphabet doesn't need to be in any certain order. I've been thinking about that a lot too. I what? swear to God, I'm not high right now. <laughs> yeah, like, like you. I, I promise, I'm not right now. But like, numbers have to be in order, right? Two is bigger than one. Three is bigger than two. Four is bigger than three, right? So one, two, three, four has to be in that order. Yeah. The alphabet is just a collection of letters that you can use in any combination to build words. So the alphabet is just a song. The alphabet can be in any order. I don't know why I'm saying bet louder than the rest of the, the word, alphabet. like alphabet. Yeah, the alphabet. But th technically, you can say it in any order. and It's just as correct as because B isn't greater than A. See, they're all the same, right? So I mean, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Know. This is yeah. where my head's been lately. I'm trying to get away from axe wounds to the head, and I'm, this is where I end up. That's where you're Fucking at. Fucking alphabet C can be in any order. Alphabet. Uh, the alphabet. So what's the what's the weirdest? What's one of the weirdest coincidences you've ever had? Like running into somebody, or or any, you you got anything like that? Uh, oh, I'm sure I do, but I just can't. Off the top of my head, I'm not good at this game. No, I'll give you a little bit of time here. I don't want to. I don't want to rant the whole time. But um, I haven't talked on this podcast about um, what happened the first time I went out to Colorado. Did I? On the mountain. I, yeah. Yeah, you did tell you did tell that story with Kirk last time. Yeah. That, oh, that's right. When we ran into that guy out there. Yeah. What I didn't say in there though, and I guess this isn't a coincidence. Hold on, my dog's pawing at me like an asshole. Mac, get out of here. Or come around here or something. Just don't sit there and paw at me. Um, again, that's my dog. It's not like a kid pawing at me that I'm telling to get the hell away from me. But I'd probably <laughs> do the same thing. Um, so what I didn't tell you about that trip, though, is we're out there and um, my brother and I had waterproofed our tent before we went out there. So we just carried all our gear, whatever, right? So we waterproofed our tent. And after we met up with the folks that I just happened to run into out there, um, it's, it's snowing real bad. And <laughs> I wake up at like three o'clock in the morning and I am absolutely suffocating. I'm lying in this tent. And I'm, I'm like, I'm on my back on a, on one of those like roll up, roll up mats. Right. With a, obviously in a sleeping bag, it's cold as hell. It's snowing. I'm in a tent. And my I'm trying to breathe, but like nothing's happening. And I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking I'm dreaming, 
because I'm like still in a fog and whatever. And I look over at my brother and he's doing the same thing. He's actually, his chin's coming up, but he's like, like that, right? right? And so all I know is for some reason, I just like unzip that tent. I'm like, and instantly it's like, right? Well, here, our waterproofing had gone bad. It was like that spray waterproofing. And I guess it had frozen and thawed. It was old. So when we sprayed our tent, it just sealed it. <laughs> so we were sleeping in a tent that was like airlocked. And we didn't know. We were sleeping in a big plastic bag. Like a th- oh, it was only okay. like a three-man tent, right? So we had run out of oxygen and we were dying. And had I not happened to wake up, had I slept through it, like my brother's going to sleep through it. It was clear he was not waking up. Had I slept through it, we'd both, they would have come out next morning and been like, wake up, let's go hunting. And we would have been frigging done. That's crazy. But yeah. yeah. So word of the wise, don't uh, get new waterproofing if you're going <laughs> to spray a tent down. I don't even think you're supposed to waterproof a tent. We were young. We we're idiots. Probably not. I mean, I'm still an idiot, but I was a younger idiot back then. I had then. to figure out this stupid laptop. It's plugged in, but it's saying it's dying. Well, that would make sense with everything else that's gone wrong with this podcast tonight. I don't get it because it's there. You go. Okay, plugged in now. Okay. Yeah. Well, since we don't have any anything else to talk about on the coincidence <laughs> front, I forgot that we had already talked about that one with, with Kirk. That's funny. What about yeah. this? Is some, I've been taking notes. I've been taking notes over our last few conversations. I met somebody a couple weeks ago who has mounts in their house that they bought. Yeah, that's super weird. I see them for sale. I'm on a couple groups on Facebook, like the archery buy, sell, and trade, where people sell like archery equipment and stuff. You know, every once in a while, people come up with like mounts, and other people are like, "Oh, how much do you want for it?" I'm like, "Why would you buy someone else's mount?" Yeah, it's, it's super weird to me. Yeah, unless it's an art vandalay. If it's a vandalay special, oh, yeah, it's an then art vandalay, you gotta buy it. Yeah, I mean it, that's like, you know, that's like an art piece. A piece of yeah, it really is. That's a statement <laughs> piece in your house for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean because I I've actually moved the other way on mounts completely. Like I like you start thinking like if there's aliens watching us, they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> These people go out in the woods and they use this piece of equipment to kill something. And then they peel its skin off and then they get this this mold that looks like the animal did when it was alive. And they stretch the skin over that and they put it in a place where they eat their food and sleep. <laughs> like, it's kind of fucking weird. Like, it is kind of fucking weird. When you put it that way, it's a little... It's a little morbid. <laughs> yeah, it's more than a little morbid. I'm now kind of coming around. My wife, you know, you know, there's nothing in my house now. We have everything down at camp. All my, all my moms, which are mainly my kids, um, they're all down at camp. And she's like, I don't want anything in my house. I think it's weird. And I've always thought that was weird. That she thought it was weird. And now I'm sitting there going like, No, I'm tracking with you. I'm tracking with you. It's a little weird to like skin a turkey and then you get this mold that's like this blob and then stretch it back over that and stick some fake feet on it or, you know, stick the feet back on there and I don't know, paint it all up to make it look like it was alive. Could have just left it alive. That's what she says. Like if it was so beautiful, you want to recreate it. Why didn't you just let it be? Uh, yeah, whatever. We had to kill it. I wanted to eat it, but Cause I like the dead, ver- I like the dead version of it being alive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want it to look lifelike, but not be alive. <laughs> I want it in my house instead of right outside where I can watch it walking around. I mean, the main thing is I want to eat it. I get that part. Like, I want food. Um, and I, I enjoy eating that. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of weirded out, like, now by, by that. Because you're taking that... That, now that we know aliens are real and that they killed JFK, not the aliens did, but the government did, and all this other stuff that they're letting go this year, which is wild, man. We've learned so much stuff in the last year and a half, but uh, no one seems to care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now I'm like, yeah, isn't it kind of weird that we stretch animal skin over forms and just hang on our walls? But, you know, 
I mean, teach your own. I, I get it. I get why people do it. I did it. I spent way more than I ever thought I would on doing it. But now I'm looking at it going like, yeah, that's kind of odd. But uh, you know what? I, I want a live turkey like in my yard, like just a, how cool would it be to wake up every spring morning and having a turkey right out oh, your window? Yeah. Just, <laughs> well, then you need an elk for the fall so we can like yeah, lay that, out a bugle. <laughs> be super, I'd be like, shut up. Be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, white-tailed deer wouldn't be really worth it because they're just going to grunt. Yeah, walk around, just, snort, they'll just snort at you all day, like assholes. Yeah, <laughs> just snort at yeah. you and probably yeah. try to elk, elk gore you with their though. antlers. Yeah, elk bugling though. Oh, dude, I I forgot to send this to you. Have have you have you seen the video of the mountain lion that follows a guy down a road for six minutes? Uh-uh. This guy's backing up. Oh, you've got to watch that. Actually, bring that up right now. See if you can bring that up. Just look for mountain lion stalks man for six minutes. See if you can see it. We can do a little play by play. We won't do it for all six minutes. This dude, if you're listening, you guys, you got to bring this video up. This guy oh, has a mountain lion. I can't lion. share my screen with you, can I? Sorry. Oh, yeah. No, probably. Oh, can you? Can you actually show it on here? That'd be amazing. This is where we're just learning as we go. So, oh, the screen blinked. What do we got? There it is. That's it right there. This is freaking cool. Play that. Play that I video. Gotta play it. I guess I gotta play go that ahead. video. Yeah. If we can do this, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm looking to see what all tabs you have up there. Oh, there nothing good. Um, There's no hub tabs. Nothing good. Recipe. I bet you if you started to auto complete at the top, there's going to be something in there. Yeah. So see if we can get any audio of this guy. So, okay. This guy sees. Can you hear the audio? No, I can't. You don't really need it. The guy just gets beeped out the entire time. So he's freaking out because he has seen a, a kitten. There's a mountain lion kitten. The kittens? Cub. Cub. A lion cub, right? Down around that bend that you see right there. And then look at that cat coming at him. Here's the mom. Ooh. Yeah. So this happens for six minutes. This dude walks like what seems like a half a mile backwards. Look at what he's walking on, dude. That's, That's the whole good. time I'm thinking. Like you're gonna tr- you see that thing run at him right there? Yeah. Did you see that? He's like screaming at it to go away. Yeah. Like go ahead and back like forward it up, forward it up, like it does it again. Go like yeah, go in like right in there. Watch this thing. It it comes at I him. Like, you can hear right the audio, here. but I, I don't know how to get the audio to play through. Oh, it's all right. All he's doing is he's like like watch this thing come running at him here. Watch this. Dude, imagine a friggin' mountain lion just coming at you for six minutes straight. And Lee, by the way, is absolutely terrified of mountain lions. Like, they are her number one no-go, bugaboo critter in the world. Actually, them and sharks, but but mountain lions just totally freak her out. Shark, she can avoid. She just doesn't go in, deep, in any kind of deep water, even mostly shallow stuff. But oh my god, like, look at that! Look at that thing! Look at that thing! Oh, that's freaking awesome! <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that! Oh, nope. dude, I'm yeah, shitting my shot. pants! <laughs> oh my god, yeah, <laughs> like no, yeah. The thing keeps coming. Go ahead, go ahead, go towards the end here. I mean, it's 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 awesome. Yeah, right so we're there. At five minutes and thirteen seconds, and this guy's still like. Yeah, he's still backing up, and he hasn't tripped over a rock the whole time. I'm like, dude, you're walking backwards. You're going to die. <laughs> like, you're walking backwards on a gravel road. You are going to die. But, uh, yeah, that thing followed him forever. I mean, hundreds of yards he's backing up. And then and then you'll see this thing, like, ends up. It ends up running off. At it. And then, yeah. And then he said, get yeah, the fuck away. Like, he's a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been saying that the whole time. So now here's the thing. You saw it run around that corner, right? Yeah. Now I'm just wondering, like, he turns the camera, he's like, that just happened. And he's like, look, I'm actually, look, I'm actually kind of calm. I'm like, okay. But now you don't know where it is. 
Yeah. Right? It ran away, but it just proved that it wants to eat your face. Like, what do you mean? I, I don't know. Like, I'd be more nervous, not more nervous now, but I certainly wouldn't be okay. Like, I'd be thinking, you know, hey, that thing obviously wanted to take me out, and now it left, and I don't see it anymore. Yeah, so it's going to jump out of the side here any moment. But... Yeah. Anyway, I saw that the other day. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I wish there was a way I could. Oh, I need to figure out how to get audio so we can play videos. Yeah. Like that. that was kind of cool to put the video on there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah. That thing was not so. It starts slapping the ground like that, yeah, coming at you. Yeah. Lee was sitting here in the couch and she's like, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. She's like getting sick stomach just watching it. I'm like, it's on TV. Like, what are you talking about? She got all worked out. Speaking of getting worked up, one more thing. I'm grinding my gears. People on planes have started moving up the aisle. Like, as soon as yeah, the seatbelt oh, sign comes I off. I saw you tweet that. <sighs> Bad idea, man. It's not going to be so me. Somebody going to punch you. So, I, I'll be sitting, like, in row 28. So, I got, like, eight rows behind me. And, you know, you park at the gate, and the, the seatbelt sign comes off. And that's when... Half you hear everybody unclick all at once, a symphony mm -hmm. of of clicks, right? The belts all open up. And then the people at the front are supposed to get up and get their stuff. And there's always people in the back who just stand up because they like, oh, this will help make things go faster. And then they stand there all oh, kind so of like oddly, about, So you're talking about after you land. Over. So after you land, you taxi after out, you land. the gate comes out, then they say you're free. So yeah, it goes like yeah. uh one, two, three, like cat like yeah. uh, like a zipper thing. So like, like row thirty six the last yes the zipper thing exactly right everybody takes her turn yeah use both lanes to the merge point <laughs> here we go <laughs> that right there we go. that's exactly uh, it so just just, no, to get off, like, just to get off course for a second holly <laughs> whenever you're traveling down the interstate and you uh -huh. see left lane closed two miles ahead oh i'm Howie. right lane all the or i'm left lane all the way how right up to the right up Howie the is point. left lane until that orange fucking cone right. <laughs> is in the middle right. of the left lane. That's He's right. Not, Science. See, I'm the other guy. I'm like left lane closed. Oh, I need to get over. So I get over in the right lane and just stay in my yeah. lane. And then you got those guys who drive in the left lane, but they drive slow. Uh, and they block everybody. They yeah. Block, they try to block me. I'll go, on the, I'll go on the berm. I don't or care. like the, the truckers here. when they get pissed and they'll just move to the middle to where they block both, yeah. where you have to get yeah. behind them. Yeah. But it's science. It's science. It says like, no, you, like running up there and no one lets you in doesn't help anything. It just makes people mad. And it slows it down more. But the most efficient way, if everyone would get on the same page, which is impossible, yeah, is that it. if it go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, zipper it in. That's the fastest way to do it. It's so inefficient to do it a mile early. and But folks are convinced and, you know, the truckers get all mad, even though they of all people should know, but they've never seen it done right. So they just get upset. But anyway, back to the plane. <laughs> These fucking people... What was it like? What I say, like four of my last six flights or something like that? Because I've been flying a fair bit now. They friggin' the seatbelt sign turns off, and you hear a click, and they get up and they just move right Ooh. up. They're like in row thirty-five, and they go up to like fifteen. That's not good. And everybody's looking like. Now, don't get me wrong. There's times you're you're you got a you got a tight connection, you know, but you announce it. You say, "I'm sorry." I have a tight connection. I need to I need to get off this plane quickly or I'm gonna miss it. Everybody understands that. Everybody's been yeah. in that position. They hope everybody would do that for them as well. Right. That's not what's happening here, dude. I've seen these people go out and then they're like standing there on their phones and they're grabbing a bite from Sbarro pizza or whatever the hell's in there, you know. And I'm like, Oh, somebody's gonna commit a felony on you. Like you're gonna end up, you know, with a black eye and uh it's just people are just starting to uh the fabric of society is just deteriorating and yeah, I'm watching it in little little increments everywhere it is getting it's know? getting pretty freaking bad yeah yeah so anyway. yeah so how's work going <laughs> Are you sure you're not high today? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm very sure. You find anything good over there? I saw you got to print some stuff for the for the uh, Cardinals today, right? Actually, actually, our work was on the news this week. Uh, we printed the um, media guides for the NCAA tournament, the first rounds. So nice. Once the brackets came out Sunday night, yeah, and obviously nobody knows where which teams playing in what city. So I don't know how many right. those cities there are. I think eight, maybe for the first two rounds. Yeah, I think no, four, four for the second round. Oh well, yeah, for the first two rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there's eight, eight for the first two rounds. So obviously nobody knows what team is in what city. So then after the brackets come out Sunday night, I don't know who, but somebody for the, the NCAA has to put together these books and like all, all the teams, and then they send the files in. So they sent the files in Sunday night. And we started printing them Sunday night, had them done first thing, it's like seven o'clock Monday morning to ship out to these eight different cities. No, so, you only did the first two rounds? Yeah. I guess only, you couldn't do the next two rounds. You wouldn't know what they are yet. That that makes sense. I'm an idiot. You'd have to wait, but yeah. they yeah. said from for time constraints, they're printing those in the actual four cities because they don't have time to print everything i guess and get them shipped to the different cities i don't know how we were able to pull it off then but i, I don't see how you couldn't do it in the well, same st. time louis is one of the st louis is one of the four for the third and fourth yeah, and round for the sweet 16 because I, I was asking and the, and the i was asking eight. yeah i was like i was asking eight. that too and said are we doing the next round too and he's like no they're doing that in the actual cities so it's st louis I know that's it's what I said. Like I right said, well, there. St. Louis is like two hours away. Why can't we just yeah, print like those? just drive but it down there? I guess they're trying to do yeah. that for the next year, trying to get all of them. So, but anyway, we were on yeah, the news so, for that because apparently. So apparently Brock and I are good. going. Yeah, Brock and I are going to Louisville. We're going to catch that. the Sweet Sixteens and the and the and the eight round of eight over there. So that'll be fun. Yeah, that'll be a good I time. I gotta find a place down there. We got Saturday off. I might have to hit John Collins up. John, if you're listening, <laughs> maybe we got Saturday off. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll come down. There you go. Maybe, maybe poke a hole in something. Not get it mounted. <laughs> maybe get it mounted. Who knows? Rock will probably want it mounted. He probably wants to good. kill a coyote so bad. John's a man for that. We all. Oh know yeah, that. if you want to kill a coyote, I'd be getting a hold of him. Yeah. Brock wants some so bad. He wants to get a coyote so bad. And he wants to use an AR, which is another reason Kentucky's awesome. But uh Oh yeah, you can't use those in Pennsylvania, yeah. can you? Um Yeah, I don't I don't think so. No. Well maybe, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I have my two twenty or I have a twenty two two fifty that I use for I just never even looked into it. I know I can use it out there. So Yeah. Um how terrible is that that I don't even know if you can use them for coyotes here? <laughs> we got folks that are running with dogs and everything else around here. So Actually, I, need, I think I you can use them somebody. there. For, you can't use them for deer there. Right. I don't know. You can, but you got to adapt it so you got to rack it. It can't be some, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. You can use them so, here in Missouri for anything. Yeah. So what about the trail cameras, man? What, would would you be really upset if they got rid of trail cameras everywhere? If they said you can't put them up, mm. or if they said you can't put them up after, like, say, August fifteenth? Not really. Are you uh, upset about that? I mean, obviously, I got a lot of trail cameras. I like running them, and I but I don't know. It saved me a lot of time and money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I wonder if we'd be better hunters. I wonder if everybody in general, be, not everybody, but I wonder if we'd make people better hunters. I like hunting sign. Yeah, you might actually be more successful. As odd as that sounds, probably you might actually be more successful because you'd be would. hunting sign. Yeah, and sign means the deer are actually going. I can't tell you how many we've talked about this. How many times I've fallen into the camera trap? Oh yeah, and hunt the cameras instead of being like, well, there's a giant deer trail here with rubs the whole way along it and scrapes. Like hunt that dumbass. Yeah. Right, <laughs> oh, I'll think myself. You know, who's back there messing around? That's Lee. Hey, Lee. Hi, Lee. Everybody say hi to Lee. Lee, you going <laughs> to wave? No? You make any tea for me? All right. At least I'm getting She's tea She's not even going to wave to us? No, she won't wave. That's how she is. She That's probably weird. thinks we have mountain lion videos up over here or something. We can. We can put one up. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> now you know. But, uh, 
Yeah, because I, I, the reason I brought that up was that Kansas, that's getting rid of trail cameras on public land, was what it was. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the kid, my Brock loves them. Brock loves them. I went a couple of years where I didn't put any out, and it didn't bother me at all. But yeah, Brock I can, likes them. The kid, the kids like seeing them. You know, I could take it or leave it. But yeah, so. I have like, I think I have eight cellular trail cameras. I know you got a ton too, but it's just like <laughs> yeah. it's addictive to put them out. Yeah. I, I have fun with it, but yeah, it would definitely save me a lot of time and money and headache and. I wouldn't be yeah. so worried about all the time. Like, why aren't I getting any freaking deer? And then go move them and then move them again and move them again. And then, yeah. Well, at least you have cellular ones so you can go move them all the time. <laughs> Defeat the purpose of having cellular ones. Yeah, I know. It, it definitely but, does. But Yeah. Yeah. But all right, so man. So I'm thinking, well, oh, I mean, ahead. I was just going to say real quick. I mean, you know, we were looking for some, some lease land out there. But, man, it's so hard to come by. It's, and we want to find a place where you can hunt, Brock can hunt, I can hunt, Emmy can hunt. Yeah. And then, like I said, I got other buddies out here looking for a spot. And I wanted to find one big place, but they're like nowhere. I'm thinking we need to focus just on some public land. Like find a spot that's that. hard to get to. We could buy invest it. instead. You know, yeah, instead you know of investing in, in the instead of investing in a lease, like put that money into good gear. We need to invest you in know. a boat. I can bring a boat out. I got a boat. Can invest in a boat, and then we have all kinds of public land that people can't get to or won't get to. I'm in. Let's plan on that then. All right, we'll plan on that. So, yeah, let's let's, next uh, on the corn ticket. Start hatching a plan on that. Next on the corn ticket YouTube channel, boating. We're gonna (laughs) boat everywhere and hunt public land. What river? What river would that be? Oh, it'd be lake. (laughs) Every all the lakes. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a. I thought there was a spot by the river. I mean, there is there's definitely river ground too that you can boat to, but there's yeah. big lakes that have a lot of ground around them. We're gonna sink that stupid boat. That's what's gonna happen. Probably. We know it. Something so. bad's gonna happen. Something out in the yeah. middle of the lake and hit a tree stump that we can't see, and it's thirty degrees outside. That sounds fun. You know we're gonna get done with this podcast and it's not gonna have recorded or some shit because we spent around for an hour trying to get the echo to go away and then <laughs> you just dropped off for no reason like five minutes in and yeah yeah good times good, good times. times yeah man but hey it was good catching up with you yeah and we'll do it again soon absolutely we need to get we got some good guests lined up I know you got a conservation agent I actually got a hold of a guy that knows a conservation agent here too I want to have him on sometime yeah so we can have one from PA and then you guys can talk about rules and regulations and you know we'll have questions and then we can do the same thing from here in Missouri from that guy so I think that would be cool and then we need to get them both on and have them fight it out (laughs) Game Warden Wars. And then we have we have another guest lined up, but I don't know if we're too sure about him or not. Which one's that? Charles. Oh, yeah, that dude. Yeah, I talked to him. He's a wild man. Yeah. He's a wild man. I tried to have a phone conversation with him, and it was very difficult. It would be, a, it would be an entertaining episode. I don't know how much. So give the rundown on what he does. He sneaks on land well, and kills stuff, to... right? So he's yeah, a, I mean, that, he's an he outlaw, does. an ex-outlaw from Texas. And he used to sneak on these big, huge ranch, ranches in the middle of the night, walk miles and miles into them to where nobody was. And he would essentially just poach the big deer that these ranches had on them. I don't know how he got them out. He's got a book I need to read, the whole thing. But we got a hold of him. We want to talk to him. I don't know. I have the story of him getting caught, but the the little part of the book I read, like he would hide in the bushes for nights, nights on end, and there would be helicopters flying over because they knew he was out there, but he never got caught. And they were flying were, helicopters looking for one poacher. Yeah, it wasn't for like all the people crossing the border or anything like that. No, they were looking for him. I think. Oh, that's crazy. See, but, when I called him, he was just working on his new office and. He, he's an interesting character. It would be very fun yeah. to have him on here. I would the love book, to. The book is good. I've got on. through the first maybe quarter of it. Um, yeah. 
but it's good. He tells some pretty cool, interesting deer stories of, you know, chasing big bucks and stuff that he had actually knew about and stuff. So, and I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming he's a really damn good hunter because he's killed a bunch of big freaking deer. So he yeah. just didn't do it ethically, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So he finally yeah. got caught. I think he's spent some time in the, in the, in jail and all that stuff for it. But anyway, we got him that we can yeah. get on anytime, uh, or sometime I should say. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. He's got a bunch of big things in the works, he said. So we got to kind of take a number on that fella, I guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we definitely have we, we definitely have some folks coming up. Um, got a couple of political folks talking about hunting, but also on the political side of things, because um, I don't want to give away the name. I um, hope we can get her on, um, reach out to her. She was interested. I, I still got to send that email out, so I don't want to say it till we lock it in. But basically looking at you know politicians who have been run off of social media because they post a picture with a deer or whatever you know totally ethically and legally taken but you know people just being the way they are yeah um, that kind of thing so yeah we got some stuff coming up but anyway it was good chatting with you finally getting our stuff figured out here i have no echo whatsoever now i don't know what yeah, i don't have no, I don't have no popping or anything either there was some popping at the beginning of the episode and it's gone yeah fixed yeah. Well, maybe we should just stop and do a whole nother episode. I'll change my shirt and then we'll just act like we did it <laughs> just that way. Next keep the thing going. Now that the right tech, yeah. When the technology is finally working. So, all right, y'all we'll talk to you again. Peace. Peace. The corn thicket podcast with Kyle and Howie presented by real tree.